this right here has been our home on the road for the last three weeks. We are taking a slight detour in our plans, which I mean, when you're full-time traveling, are there any plans set in stone ever? Um, I have doctor's things I need to take care of, and so we're gonna mosey our way back to Oregon. But this time, unlike last time, we're not taking four days to do it. And let's hope my husband commits to that. I'm not driving in four days. So we were going to, um, I was just going to go to Bend by myself and back, like on the bus or the airplane. But then I realized that we'd have to bring my daughter with me because my daughter doesn't, she just needs my help with some stuff. Like making sure there's no bugs in the bathroom, things like that. Right, Ellie? Yeah. So, which is fine. So then we're like, what if we both went? But then going up there and back. And so now we're just going to go. And technically we had this reservation until Monday. But we just filled up the tank yesterday, just filled up all of our pup paintings yesterday, and we're ready to go. So why not go now? Um, our first stop is scheduled to be in Abilene, Texas. Um, I'm really good at using Convenium and other free um, apps to find places to camp or park overnight. We're totally fine with Walmart, we're totally fine with rest areas, but we do like the free county and city parks in Texas. As a lot of you know, Texas does not have a lot of, like, public land, BLM land. Mm -hmm. Basically, they said, we don't want to give our land to the government, which is fine. But a lot of the smaller um, cities will have, like, nice. RV parks with hookups, like Water and Electric, an RV dump. So, we're going to check out some of those. And I think, I think, unless, like, a freak snowstorm hits Colorado... We're going to go up north through Texas, um, Colorado, Wyoming, tiny bit of Utah, Idaho. Did I say that already? I don't know. Um, Texas, Colorado, Wyoming, Idaho, dipping into Utah a little bit, and then going back into Idaho, and then Oregon. And my appointment is not until like November 10th, but when I call to reschedule my appointment, they're like, pick whatever day you want, we're clear. So worst case scenario, we get there, you know, a little bit earlier than November 10th, we get it done and then we can get out of there before a snowstorm stuck, keeps us in Oregon for the winter time. I do not want to be in Oregon in the winter time. Yes, a lot of my family's there, but I don't want to be there in Oregon in the winter time. Why? Because huh, I'm, I'm looking forward to being here in Texas where there's not 10 feet of snow for six months out of the year. All right, so that's what this video is gonna be about, our traveling and stuff. And I really miss vlogging our travels and trips, so stay tuned. I'm running. Oh, like in Twister? Yeah. Yes, these roads remind me of the roads from the movie Twister, that's for sure. So we are stopping, uh, I don't know, Stephenville, Texas. I mean, we came inside to grab some lunch and uh, usually like something's falling apart or something's falling down. <sighs> No, yeah. Strip yeah. has finally fallen down. We are at um, CB RV Park or City Park in Abilene, Texas. 48 hours of camping allowed. We're just staying overnight because it's boondocking and we kind of want like, AC tomorrow. Definitely. I think this girl has adapted to Texas weather because it's a chill like 60 something degrees in Price, Utah and see Sivoid. Yeah. All right. So, so far coming from basically Waco, Texas, 
through so far Price, Utah. Our destination is Bend, Oregon. These are the things that have gone slightly askew on our trip. Um, issues with the truck, which we found out was um, the fuel line was not getting enough pressure, so they fixed it. But they also saw that our fuel... I'm so tired. There's something else wrong with the truck, but not wrong enough that we can't drive it. But we need to get that fixed, and we'll get that fixed when we get back to Texas. As far as the trailer itself, Mr. Jackson neglected to shut the door properly twice when he went in the trailer to get some stuff out. Because he pushes it at the bottom instead of pushing at the latch, so it came open. And that, those doors are on the passenger side of the truck, so I could see it in the rear view mirror. Say here, the um, rubber seal around the outside of the door came off. Um, and then most recently, um, the, the, the door for the outdoor kitchen came open. Luckily, we didn't lose the fridge that was in there. Hmm. Now, um, yeah, like I said, we're in Price, Utah, and now we're getting ready to just go up to Idaho. We should be in Bend by tomorrow. We could be there today, but we're not going to get there beat until 9 o'clock at night. So, we will get there tomorrow. Tomorrow. Because tomorrow is always better than today. There's always cool signs that teach you things in the area. Even in Oregon and Idaho where I've spent most of my life. Let's see what this other one says. Oh, it's about Lake Bonneville. 20,000 years ago, this land was underwater. Not far to the north. done. We have our last leg of the trip, which is like 400 and some odd miles. We are at Walmart in Jerome, Idaho. Got some cooler weather clothes for the kiddos and a basket full of groceries. There is self-checkout and then one other aisle checkout open here at the Walmart and the other checkout is a it has the cigarettes or the smokes, whatever. We'll call them and I'm sitting because I refuse to do a whole entire cart of groceries and clothes as a self-checkout. So the boys are doing it. Once that's done, I get to load it up into the fridge and then we get the show on the road. Eliana, are you looking forward to your pastry for breakfast? Oh uh, yeah. And your juice I got you? Yeah. Yeah. So that was our adventure driving from Texas to Oregon. We got in yesterday, got our spot. And today's just been a day of recovery. Recovery from driving, recovery, just recovery. 
Later on today, my plan is to tidy up the kitchen. Um, and there's some pieces of paneling that fell off when we were driving down the road. I'm gonna, we're gonna work on repairing. This again, it was just, it's just about recovering, honestly. Getting used to a new time zone. And then Tuesday at 8.30 in the morning, I have my appointment for my intuition. Yay! <sighs> and then work on taking some pictures or something or posting an ad on Facebook Marketplace to sell our RV. So we wanted to get that done before the snow hits and we go back to Texas. Okay, I think that's it for now. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.